the team. Always looking fantastic in the team shirts. Mate, I got. I was just looking around the racetrack. Most of the food stalls are shut. In fact, they are all shut. Every stall's shut, except for none other than old CC up there, mate. Who? Who? That old, bloke up old there. Old Cush Clothing, Ryan Harris. Grab your last minute Christmas gifts from Rhino. He's still open up there. He's got the light show happening on the door. He's probably got uh, Ash Media running up there as well for the uh, Rockhampton show. Yeah, plenty of, uh, <laughs> plenty of merchandise available for Christmas and some new stuff coming very shortly. Check out the uh, Cush Clothing website on the international web, all the W's, Cush Clothing, and uh, grab some gear for Christmas. Always good. Oh, this is going to be a beauty, this one. Bruce Marshall and Stevie Price. What a front row this is going to be. A drag race into one and two. Kimmy right behind in that beautifully prepared number 22 machine. He'll start out of three with Potsy out of four. Russ Harding out of five. And Hitchcock, who all of a sudden has found some form, he'll start out of six. We go back to Tompkins and Holland. Then we go back to Denning and the 34 machine. Oh, I got the hiccups. Sorry about that, Trev. <laughs> Mark, uh, Mark Taylor. Mark yep. Taylor. Yep. Sorry, I got the hiccups. No, you're right. That. Robbie Keniston. Then we go back to Troy Price. Uh, young Parker in that number nine machine. Yep. Change young, of number, change of luck, apparently. Matty, Matty Ingray in the 17. Uh, Jay Allen in the 42. Shane Stacey and Roe Botham in the 99 at the tail of the field. 20 laps of journey. They once again have put on a fantastic show, the MCARS. Never disappointing. They get straight in the front straight and we go green. Hammer down as Brucey Marshall lights up the 27. Have a look at the three-way battle out of two. Oh, it had to be a squeeze. Russ Hardy dives to the infield and everybody goes by and he gives the big tractor tyre a smack on the way through. Yeah, that'll, that'll change the shape of that right-hand panel. Wow. He's moved that tractor tyre a good three or four feet. So there'll be a nice dent in the side panel of that uh, 18. She looked like the star for leaving John Tipman racing on a Friday. <laughs> And you'd know. Absolutely. <laughs> you lead the charge. Usually the first one out the gate, mate. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I still wouldn't be doing this job, I can tell you. We are about to take two 20 laps of journey. Great to see the yellow and red of Brucey Marshall lead the charge into one and two. Stevie Price has a look on the top side. A little bit need us. Stevie Potts settles down into third spot. Have a look at the drag down the back straight. Pricey gets left out to dry. And Marshall will lead him away across the strike. Battles right up and down the field already. The 22 of Raymond Kim. He's involved with Hitchcock here at the moment. Who's got Tompkins on their hammer. That's the battle for fourth, fifth and sixth. Stevie Potts on his mow. And then third. We've got one facing the wrong way. That's, that's, that's our Dutchie mate, Holland. Holland. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Now young uh, Bo Parker. He decides to reverse park on the front straight as well. Taylor, the second of the price cars, and Kinniston. Let's go hammer down one more time in the 20 lap journey for the M cars, thanks to shock absorber therapy. And once again, Potsy gets a ripper start. Gets right up beside his good mate, Stevie Price. Price just can't quite get that car to stick on the bottom. That opens the door up for Potts. Can't quite get the job done this time, boy. And once again, Trev, the M cars are, oh, here we go. Right in front of you again, young Bo Parker. Yeah. He's uh, practicing that reverse park on the front straight. Yeah, and pulls no, it to the no infield. standing any time there, buddy. Pottsy again, tries to have a look at the outside of Price. Meantime, Marshall probably thankfully doesn't have a mirror on the 27 at the moment because it is an absolute ripper show going on for second and third. Potsy again, this time changes it to the top side of the racetrack and gets the job done beautifully. A little bit of uh, go for it in the 32, Trevor, as they go through one and two. Yeah, Marshall though, down the back there. Potts now moving in on the back of the 27 and Potts content to run the... I wouldn't say the cushion, but probably mid-track as Marshall stays on the bottom. Price is looking to follow Potts around. And look at Andrew Kime. Kim now doing a great job in the 22 and starting to close the gap on these front three. He's bringing Nathan Tompkins with him and Hitchcock's not far off the back of that either. Then we go further back to uh, Michael Denning. 
Then it's Troy Price. Oh, Taylor's all over the racetrack. In fact, he spun it on the way into turn one, and that'll bring on the caution lights. Well, hasn't yet. We're no, still unless, he, unless he gets now it going. It no, it does. Now he does. So, Mark Taylor. As we go back to green flag racing, Marshall leads, Potts, Price, Kim, Tompkins, Denning and Price. That's Troy Price in the 21. 13, 12 to go this time by on the BK trading board. And Marshall looking for his third win of this series. As he leads down the back, Potts about a car length away. Look at Andrew Kim now, yellow lights again. It's for someone down in turn four, I can't see the number. Yeah, it's Jake Allen, the 42 machine. Oh yeah, Jay Allen. A Lacey's embroidery car. Yeah, I think I called him Andrew before. Yeah, Raymond Kim. 12 left to run as Marshall puts the hammer down. Potts gives chase. They've all gone to the bottom of the racetrack now as they follow the 27 car single file. Down the back straightaway. Tompkins has now moved up into fifth and chasing after Raymond Kim. Marshall puts another one in the book. Potts now decides to move up track a little and see if he can get round the outside of the 27 racer. But Marshall stretches that lead a little bit out of two. Price has got Raymond Kim all over the back of the City Steel number six. Tompkins watching these four out in front. Just perhaps at the moment, just playing a little bit of a waiting game down the back. And it's Potts on the outside of Marshall. Side by side, they go into turn three. Oh, Marshall gets a little untidy. That's cost him the ground. And Potts gets a lead. We got a new leader across the stripe. Steve Potts leads. Marshall back to second. Steve Price is still third from Raymond Kim. Marshall now moves up mid-track as uh, looks like Jay Allen once again untidy in turn four as the leaders all stream past the 42. Eight laps remain, Macca. Yeah, and Potsy looking good. Yeah, it's been a ripper show. He's had to fight for it to get to the front. But the, uh, the big Panther, 32 machine. Doing it in fine style. Marshall struggling all of a sudden with the 27 machine mid-corner in one and two. Ray Kim all over the back end of Pricey. This isn't over yet. We're a long way from home. And the battle for the Miners is not decided. Tompkins, don't write him off either. The uh, number three machine certainly loves coming to Archfield Speedway as once again Marshall and Price side by side through three and four. Almost three wide with Taylor up the front straight into well, one and two. Marshall just gives Pricey the little g'day, mate. Let's him know he's there as they set sail again down the back straight. Laps winding down, four to go this time by, and Stevie Potts doing it in fine style. A nice gap now back to Price, Marshall, Kim, Tompkins. Have a look at the gaggle of cars at the back here. Russ Hardy, don't see that very often, struggling in the 18 machine. Fighting with the back markers. Potsy goes across the stripe. Three left to run. And the M cars, as they have done, each and every time at Archfield Speedway, turning it on one more time. Ray Kim right up underneath. Oh, the 27 of Bruce Marshall. And we've got Taylor facing uphill in turns one and two. We'll get uh, Jared just to check that as he comes out of turn four. Car is leaning over to the right. And yes, it is. It is deflating on the right rear. Oh, yeah, I can see that from here now too, yeah. Definitely, I want to keep the rolling speed up. Yep, she's flat. Jared just telling us it is absolutely flat. Lights are out. Bruce Marshall will drive a broken wheelbarrow for three laps. And set chase after Stevie Price and Steve Potts. Three to go. As they go, hammer down, coming out of the front straight. Pass the cone one more time. 
Bruce Marshall driving a wounded duck at the moment. Tyre blowing itself apart as it comes through turns one and two, backing the rest of the traffic up. Oh, Ingrid, the 17 machine, the Kevy Stoker does a great job not to make more damage on that. And Marshall trying to get off the racetrack. Oh, problems now for the uh, 17. He's got damage on the front right. One lap left to run, it's all come undone for a lot of the front runners at the tail end of the race, but not for Stevie Potts. He's come from position four, fought his way to the front. He comes through turns three and four for the last time. Check it flag from Frankie and Potts. He'll get the win over Price. Back to young Raymond Kim, Michael Denning, Nathan Tompkins, Robert Kiniston, Troy Price. Russ Hardy gets into the top 10. Brett Robotham, Shane Stacey, Scott Hitchcock, and Jay Allen are the finishers. Ladies and gentlemen, he really did have to fight for that one. Make some noise for Stevie Potts. Home in second spot, the City Steel number six machine of Stevie Price. And super impressive tonight, the 22 of Ray Kim. A stellar drive to get on the podium here at Brisbane's International Archfield Speedway. Well, Trevor, it's been a while since we've had Stevie in the uh, in victory lane. Great to see the Panther number 32 chassis back on the top step. Yeah, he'll be fairly happy with that as uh, Raymond Kime and uh, Stevie Price bring their cars up. Put your hands together, Brisbane, for Potsy as he gets out. Great sportsmanship there from Bruce Marshall. He's coming up to congratulate Steve Potts. Well, we'll get this uh, presentation underway. Congratulations, Steve. Well done, buddy. There you go. Feature winner sticker. Mate, uh, Bruce made it tough for you, but uh, unfortunately, you got a, a puncher in the right rear, and that sort of, I think, uh, didn't help the situation. But by that time, I think he'd long gone. Yeah, actually, I saw him struggling a little bit, and I thought if I could just make it stick through the middle there, and, um, yeah, we we're lucky enough to, to get it done. And then I had to worry about pricey then. So, um, no, I was really happy with that. We... Um, Tried a few different things tonight and on that track, and great track, John, awesome. Love these type of racetracks. Uh, thanks to Sam and the kids, and well done to Pricey and, uh, and Raymond. Come all the way up from Newcastle tonight to race, so uh, thanks very much for that, Raymond. Congratulations on winning, uh, I think it's round five of the Shock Absorber Therapy Series. Well done. Yeah, it's nice to back-to-back -to -back too, so that was always good. Good job, buddy. In second place tonight, put your hands together for Steve Price. Oh, mate, tough job out there tonight, but uh, Raymond Kim pushed you all the way. Oh, certainly did, mate. Uh, the top ten blokes in this grade changes every week, so it's just Steve got a better setup. He got a good run on me when I got stuck behind Bruce. It took me a while to get past Bruce, and like, Raymond's showing his nose a few times, so, nah, very happy. There's a little bit of SOS tapping there on a few occasions. Uh, you get that, but... You just don't hit them hard enough to spin them out. Just let them know you're there. Keep them thinking. Mate, great job on the P2 tonight. Well done. Thank you. And in third place tonight, put your hands together for Raymond Keim. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Uh, trip to Brisbane was worth it. It was. It was, uh, we call it a last-minute decision. The car wasn't prepared after Kingaroy. And we were working last weekend. I said, Dad, let's go to Archfield. And uh, to come up and qualify third in these... With these guys, they were always fast here. And uh, to get a podium, unlucky to Bruce, but I'm happy with third. That's unreal. Mate, Pricey made a uh, tough deal for you there. You tried to lever him off the bottom a few times. It wasn't going to happen. No, nah, Pricey's pretty good. He he knows when you're there and he'll give you room, but I thought if I pushed him out of the way, I'd be the worst person in the world. So just stick with third. I'm happy with that. Congratulations, mate. Well done. We'll get you to get up there and grab a photo with... Uh, with our media man, Chris Fire. Brisbane, put your hands together for our podium tonight. Raymond Kime, Steve Price, and tonight's winner, round five of the Shock Absorber Therapy Series in Stevie Potts. East Coast Logistics, 30-lap feature for the sprint cars about to get underway as they get pushed away. <laughs>